Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage and Reviews. We're here in Cologne, Germany, here at Fibo Expo. We're gonna be looking at the Aries 2.0 today. We've also looked at Rep Cardio. We're also gonna look at the Repins and some other options that are here too. Just so you know, if you'd like to see those, make sure you subscribe because they'll be forthcoming or are already out. But this is Sam. Sam is your, the chief engineer at Rep? Uh, head of product development. Okay, yeah. huge barbell equipment nerd. Uh, when we went to Colorado, we nerded out quite a bit. So he's <laughs> as into this stuff as all of you guys. Why come out with a 2.0 though? Well, uh, honestly, like the product was really good, and you know, I feel like we were like the first to market with it. But we took right. a lot of like feedback from consumers, and we realized we didn't get it perfect the first time. Okay. So there was just a few things that we could go back, make better, and uh, I think you alluded to it. How long do have we had it in the works? Probably about a year and a half. Okay. You know, just like ear to the ground, whatever we can figure out, and just going through a couple different iterations. Dang, that's a quick like time. Yeah, I mean that's short. How much? <laughs> I gotta ask, how much did Rogue coming out with their functional trainer push you guys to come out with a 2.0? Uh, what I can say is it was already in the works, so it right. was just like very coincidental well, it's not like you could just, timing. Yeah, right, yeah. right. But it did motivate you, I'm sure, in some way to like, let's get this at least to market. Definitely motivated us just to get it in people's hands. You okay. know, obviously, you know, we think we have the best product and we want to make sure that people make the right decision right. and we give them as many options as possible. Right. So, one question, I want to get this from the start too. A lot of people that have the Aries 1.0 love it. Just like with any product innovation, you see this all the time. Sometimes it's hard to gym equipment because it's not like tech yeah. where like a new phone comes out every year and you're used to it. Number one, the 2.0 it's not like you can upgrade from the 1.0 to, there's not an upgrade kit. There isn't, you know, okay. we talked about it and we weighed like the pros and cons of doing that. At the end of the day, the only common piece this has with the Aries 1.0 are the plates. Even the head plates changed. Dang. So in order to do an upgrade kit, you're basically buying the entire thing over again. Okay. And it's better for customers probably just to sell it secondhand. That's okay. gonna be the best value for them. And right. then just to rebuy it. Okay, okay. Which I'm sure a lot of people will do. Honestly, I get it, it's like frustrating because you're like, man, I just bought the 1.0, but you bought it based upon what it was then. I mean, yeah. this thing's sweet, I've used it. It's not like it's like light years different than the 1.0. It's better, but it like, if you didn't know any different, ignorance is bliss. You know, <laughs> you wouldn't care about it. Nobody was really complaining a lot about the 1.0, except, and we gotta go through this, the height of the pulleys. Yeah. This to me, there's a few significant differences, but that one to me is, I'm very happy with that. Talk through why you guys made that change. 100%. Well, the original design and, and even this one, like the point of it was really to have like an ISO row. It sure. wasn't necessarily to work with bars. We made it compatible with bars, okay. but we did take that feedback. Um, you know, people obviously don't like sitting on the ground. They don't like yeah. the low row as much. And uh, we modified it. Um, and yeah, do you mind if I just go yeah, through? Please do. Okay, cool. Yeah. So yeah, so like the first big thing that we did is we put them on swivels. Yeah. So we noticed like both top and both down. top and bottom. And these are this. Those are the same swivels as you have front. Uh. Or well, they yeah. They, yeah, they're the same like covers. Like they right. have the same aesthetic right. to okay. them. Okay. Nice. Yeah, like they're a little bit limited, so things you know sure. don't run into other things. But uh, honestly, like that was like one of the big pieces. Is it's like if you want to have an ISO row and like you want to bring you know the things in closer, that like you basically want to be able to have the swivel, so like yep. people of different like widths can still get that comfortable feel. Um, and yeah, the other big thing was actually pulling in these pulleys themselves because I think people with the 1.0 know that like if you're using a bar, getting it over your feet, it's kind of yeah. like difficult to get started. Right. And then yeah, the feet. So now you don't even need a banana bar. You just clip them together, right? You could do that, yeah. Okay. I think we're still going to include a banana okay. bar for nice. people if they want to do that. But okay. honestly, yeah, I mean, you could put Sweet. just a third carabiner right. and then not have that extra length that's or sick. complexity. Yeah. And then, that's yeah, cool. don't have to get it over your feet. Okay. Dang, that's really cool. And this foot plate's adjustable. It is. In. Yep. And that's the Out other in. thing is this is way more compact than the 1.0. Yeah, and that was another really big piece of feedback. People who basically wanted to do uh, like incline like with their with their bench. Right. They weren't able to get in far enough and I saw people like using spotter arms and things right. like that. So we wanted to make it where you could tuck your bench in a little bit further. Four okay. post people really know that pain yeah. because yeah, you basically lose it for right. like an incline. Um, so not only did we do that, but it actually, we gave cutouts so you can center your bench and you can get it in a little bit further if you have a rep bench. Oh, we have that. notice that. Yeah. So your black wing, the wheel covers will slide into these. We'll slide slots. right into there. Yep. 
dude. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Ecosystem. That's pretty nice. Okay. Thank you. And then these up here, these are new too. Yep. So yeah, we also put these on a swivel. Okay. Um, you know, we're, like you said, we're equipment nerds. So yeah. we go around, we use all the commercial equipment, and right. we found that like a lot of them don't actually have fixed pulleys. Like they do have that pivot. It makes all the difference in the world. Oh yeah, dude. Like, yeah, that's really nice. Okay. Yep. And then you've changed the adder weights. Yeah. This is just so much refinement. So the adder weights now, this is like a life fitness. I mean, they've been using this forever. Also mm -hmm. notice, they're just like little details. The top bar is indented. It's very similar to say their rep bench black wing where you can lift it up and then it locks going down. So this one, you just put it up. You don't have to pull out the pin. Very yeah. nice. Yeah, and the idea behind that is loose pieces. Like you have these add-on weights, what do you do with them when you're not using them? They right. just become an extra piece. We want to make everything integrated. Right. You know, space is tight and you don't yep. want clutter in your gym. Yep. Uh, I noticed you got these handles here and these handles. Which one will come with the unit? The knurled. <laughs> Where, what happened to the urethane ones? Uh, you know, uh, there was some feedback that those weren't people's favorites. I, <laughs> Who said that? I, I think you actually had me on camera with, and with like a doom face zoomed in on that. Yeah. These things are not good. <laughs> I don't, they're going to beat me up once the camera's off. Yeah. Sorry. They're, Sorry. The, the urethanes are dead. Okay. Dead to the world. Good. Burn yeah. them. <laughs> okay. What else? Is there anything else on this that I'm missing that? I, obviously, there's... I mean, look, get just a shot of the engineering on these pulleys, just like so many pulleys. Is the assembly any different, any quicker, like similar time frame? It's gonna be a similar time frame okay. in okay. general. Um, it's gonna be lighter components. Yep. So like one of the pain points that we did hear about that I don't I don't know if it's talked about a lot, is just like that that bottom bracket being huge. Yeah, like we, yeah. we, we right. did try to like make that like a little bit simpler. Okay. Um, and I'd say like the other, one of the other big things to call out is people who have an 80 inch rack, they have this pain point, um, which is for the other version, you actually have to take the trolleys, put them all the way to the top. But if you do that, then the issue is like with your J-cups, it limits a lot of height. Ah, right. Yeah, so one of the big differences we had, and we actually patented like a whole like pulley configuration and design with this, is now the uh, cables are coming from the bottom. So if you want to use attachments, you drop them down. So you get that extra height at the Sweet. top. Sweet, yeah, that's cool. Okay, dang. Is, is that also potentially allowing you to add your own new jammer arms in the future? If we try to leave as many possibilities open with as cables, possible. As many- And then allow you to mimic machines? I know you're a machine head. <laughs> I, I will say that we are leaving as many possibilities open as possible. We want to keep surprising people. Great politician answer. Good job. <laughs> Stainless steel uprights. Mm -hmm. These are new too, which this isn't specific to the Aries, so I'm guessing these are going to be available. This is, this is something we want to make available. You, right. you kind of brought it up earlier that yeah. it's something that we used to have. Yeah. Um, we think it's coming back. We think it's popular. Oh, they're awesome. Especially for the functional trainers, because you're not having to worry about mar in the powder coat. They slide really quickly. Yeah, just like, very nice. Yeah, yeah, very nice. And I think some of the coolest configurations will be, you know, stainless steel with color. So yep. like cross members that are white or cross members that are red with right. like the stainless steel. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, anything else on this? I think we covered all the big stuff. Okay, is price point similar to Aris 1.0? More than Aris 1.0? What's the, what are we looking at? We are at? gonna get it as close as we can, probably spot on with an Aries. Dang, yeah, one that's pretty sick. Okay. You've got more and more competitors coming into the functional trainer space. Yep. You have the one, you, obvious ones with the multi-trainers, say Force USA, but mm -hmm. then you have Prime USA with the HLP, mm -hmm. you have uh, Rogue with the new functional trainer rack. Yep. Do you think this is superior to those options? I mean, I'm biased, um, but I will say yes. Okay. Like, I mean, you have a true ISO with this machine. Um, you have the ability to do a one-to-one -one if you want to do it. Right. But at the end of the day, you know, being being an equipment head like you, yeah. I want something to feel just like a commercial like oh, machine right. in my home. Yeah. This is the closest you're gonna get. Yeah. And it does. I mean the aluminum pole, I mean it, it's not. It's a definite upgrade. It's it's I feel like this is a difference between rep and some other companies. It pisses people off that you guys upgraded from the 1.0. But at the same time, it's like, I want, I want more innovation. I want it to improve rather than just have the thing. It's like, we made it, let's just keep it, you know. Definitely. I, lo I love this. 
yeah, just that incremental gains. Um, it's nice. If you want the 2.0, just sell your 1.0. Don't sell it to me though. I'm buying the 2.0. Okay. Sam, appreciate thank you. Man. you. This has been Coop from Garage Sherm Reviews. If you'd like to see the 2.0, we'll put a link below the like button where you can check it out. Also, if you'd like to see any reviews on this, because this wasn't a review, this is our first look. I asked some hard questions, but I'm not giving my opinion. I'll wait till, you know, I'm behind his back to do that. Hello, darkness, my old friend. He's giving me daggers right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if you'd like to see that, make sure you subscribe. That'll be coming soon. All right, this has been Coop from Garage Reviews. We'll see you next time. Peace.